Daniel Jeremiah here on the Rich Eisen Show. All right, let's turn to the Chargers in the name of Bosa. Do we see Joey? When do we see him? Uh, I don't think we see him this week. I mean, I, I, it was just to see maybe against Oakland. Um, uh, that that could uh, potentially happen there. You know, one thing to keep an eye on when you have the foot injuries, and I'm not a doctor, but uh, having your first game back on, on turf, maybe that's not maybe that's something you want to avoid. Um, get on the grass, and the, that would be Oakland the following week, which would, would definitely be on the grass. So baseball season is over, correct? Yes, it is. It no is. Dirt. It's so, right. They filled so, it in. Yeah, I don't know. You know, the good thing is, is in, in some ways, it has been a little bit of a blessing for the Chargers because they've they've rolled a lot of guys through on their defensive line and, and really have a nice rotation going right now. So when he does get back, uh, that's going to be a pretty good group they've got now. Yeah, I know. And five and two. They're poised. Uh, unfortunately for them, they got a, a team that's uh, way ahead of them in division that's already beaten them. But yeah. uh, how good can this Chargers team be, do you think, Daniel? Well, I think when you look at going into the postseason, first of all, you just got to find a way to get in. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a challenge to, to win that division, but get in any way you can. And then when you get into the postseason, I've always believed that it, it comes down to strong quarterback play and can you rush the passer. If you get those two things going – um, you, you can win the whole thing. And I think this Chargers group, if they get back to go with Ingram and, and Legit and all that crew, and uh, and you get Rivers to continue playing like he is, I mean, they're a dangerous team. Hmm. Um, and, and Seattle, I'm sure you've watched a lot of film on a lot of them. Where, yeah. where did this team come from? Can you say that the offensive line problems there are fixed? Can you say that? They're- they're playing. They're playing well, and they're doing some 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 really good things. I know Schottenheimer got lambasted when he got that job, and everybody was up in arms. And he's old school, and this is the new way of, of of football now. And he's he's not up with the times. And then here they are running out there with the several times you see six offensive linemen out there uh, with tight end. Um, you've got Fluker in the run game, Sweezy in the run game. They're, they're both doing a really good job inside of moving people. Uh, and then that Russell's not having to throw the ball more than 30 times. So he's been very efficient. He's protected the football. Uh, and they found a little bit of a formula. And while the names are all gone on defense, they are they are flying around, Rich. It looks like kind of that young group that they had back in the day before mm. they were the Legion of Boom and that whole crew. Uh, one thing you noticed about Pete Carroll's team, they flew to the football, and that's what this group's doing. Bring me up to speed on the kid we talked about nonstop in the talent evaluation portion together this year in Shaquem Griffin. How's he looking so far? Well, he did well early in the season, but now they've got healthy. You know, when you get K.J. right back uh, to go along with Bobby Wagner, uh, those are the guys. So, um, you know, it's just uh, still is going to go down as an all-time story, and I think he will settle in and be a, a long-time starter in the NFL. He won't just be a role player. He'll be a long-time starter. Just not yet is what you're saying. Yeah, I think that's. I think that his his best football is ahead of him. I think he was raw, and I think just when you look at kind of the seasoning they have there with those other two, um, he's not going to be at the forefront of that defense anytime a few, soon. A few more minutes left with Daniel Jeremiah here on the Rich Eisen Show. Best team you've seen so far, the Rams, with your own two eyes? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the Rams and the Chiefs in person. Um I would say the, the Rams is probably popular is the is the most balanced team that can play any style, can win any type of way. Now Kansas City's defense is playing better of late than when I saw them early. Um, but man, the, the Chiefs' offense still—I would say their offense would would scare you even more than the Rams. Uh, but the Rams have more ways to get it done. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.